Hello and welcome everyone. This is X D8 onto six to three with a new video for the uh, how to enable the BP sync between Samsung Health Monitor and Samsung Health. Um, as I want to remove the previous video completely, as it's causing a bit of confusion. So let me simplify it even more for you guys. Right. First of all, what is uh, BP sync and how to enable it? So let's have a look right over here. In Samsung Health Monitor, I have my own BP recordings. I've recorded four recordings right over here. So if I open Samsung Health, I would notice that my data has been synced. So what is in Samsung Health Monitor is now in the Samsung Health. How do I enable this? So the first thing is you'll need to open settings. You scroll all the way down and go to about Samsung Health. You will not have this. What you're going to see basically is this layout. And to show your, your options, you need to tap on the version number. Okay, not the version, but the version number. So let me tap on the version number several times. You will have options, but you will not see the set features. This is the video four. So the first thing is how to show the set features. You can't use the default file manager because it does not allow you to create files. It just allows you to create folders or maybe files or extensions, but you cannot create blank files. So you need to use third-party uh, file manager. I'm using Wood Explorer, for example. So let's just have a look and see. Uh, so there you go. And now you don't need a root. Please don't get confused by this. My device is rooted, but you don't need to root your device. Root is not a requirement. Right, so I'm going to head into storage and then into the download. Okay, I need to go into the download folder. Inside the download folder, right over here, you're going to see Samsung Health folder. Inside Samsung Health folder, there is a file called Feature Manager on. So what happens if I actually delete uh, Samsung oh my God, What happens if I delete Samsung Health? Let me just delete it. And if I go out and in, you can see set features is gone. So what I got to do is create it. So I can go ahead and say create Samsung Health case sensitive, guys. So the S is capital and the H is capital. I head on the OK. I open the folder. Now I have to create a file, which is called feature manager on. Also, case sensitive, make sure the letters are capped right over here. I head on the OK. Now if I exit and open this one more time, it's there. If you're unable to do this or you find yourself troubled, uh, then the alternative is to install the SHL Mod Companion. This is a tool I developed. There is a section called BP Sync. I open the BP Sync and just simply tap on Enable Set Features. It will create for you the Samsung Health folder and create the Feature Manager file. And then it will, uh, as you can see, Set Features is visible now. It will uh, try to restart your Samsung Health and you'll have it right over here. Are you done? No, you're not done yet. So let's have a look in here. I already, guide, you guys, I already showed you. Let me just expand this a bit. I already showed you the first step, which is tapping this version number. Sorry. So I already showed you the tapping on the version number. So I hit on the next. Now we're going to open set features. I have underlined health analytics and data platform. These are two most important parts. In health analytics, you need to make sure that it's set to dev, not fraud, but dev. And in the data platform, you need to make sure that the developer mode is on. Okay, not off, it should be on. Once you're done, hit the back button and it will ask you, say it's feature changed. You'll hit on the OK and it will open for you the app settings. You need to force stop and then you go into storage and you will clear cache. Once you're done, you're going to open your Samsung Health Monitor. You're going to go to settings. So there you go, settings, after settings, data permissions, after data permissions, Samsung Health, and then you need to make sure that this is on. Once you're done, record a new BP, and you will be, and you have enabled the sync, basically. So once I'm done, I will close this, open that, I will record a new BP, and all of a sudden my data will be there. Let me just record a new BP so you guys can see it. And there you have it. Now you can see right over here, 113, 74, 113, 74. So now the sync is working fine. Now the last part right over here which says troubleshoot BP sync. That BP sync was working but stopped. What could be the cause? 
Let's have a look. There's a legend at the top, DP for blood pressure, SH for Samsung Health, SHM for Samsung Health Monitor. The first point, the most important thing you should know, the sink, if you would pull your uh, app right over here, this is a sync happening between Samsung Health and the watch. It's not a sync between Samsung Health and a Samsung Health Monitor. This is not the case. Same thing for Samsung Health Monitor. The sync is between the app and the watch only. If you want to sync your BP with Samsung Health, you need to record a new BP. Okay? A new BP will trigger the sync. Even for your old data, it will go to Samsung Health because by default, all your BP data on the app by default are marked as uh, unsynced, right? Now, one of the most common things is a BP sync timeout. If your configuration and permissions are all correct and you're still unable to sync, just restart your phone and watch, or only the watch, and then record a new BP, and hopefully the sync will work again. It's possibly there is a process that causes the BP sync timeout. The other one is permission denied sum, which is a rare case, that when you are updating your Samsung Health Monitor, data permissions, this is off, you just toggle it on and it's going to work again. One part of the last part, which is Samsung Health set features disappeared. So going into Samsung Health settings above, this is what I meant, set features disappeared. This can happen because your file is no longer there uh, or something is missing in the download. So basically just go ahead and just tap on the enable set features and it will fix everything and restart for you. Samsung Health and set features should be visible. But you don't stop right over there. You need to make sure that your health analytics and data platform are both configured correctly. Now the last part which is the configuration has been reset. This happens when there is an update for Samsung Health. It usually reset all the configuration back to default. You just have to change it again into dev and developer mode. Now if you have tried all these four above and none of them actually worked, then please record a log cat and provide me your device model and Android OS version and the watch you're connected to and whether your device is rooted or not. And I'll tell you alongside the logs why is the sync failing and hopefully find a solution for you. Thank you very much guys for watching and I hope this was really useful for you guys. Also I recommend that you use the Samsung Health Monitor Mod Companion. It's really useful tool that I have developed for you guys. You can use it and you can see how to use this companion from the guide section. You have either a video or a visual guide and you see how to use it. Thank you for watching and uh, please do consider supporting me if you find this very useful. Thank you and have a good day.